We derived the solution of the coolant flow such that there was an external pressure also being applied, and we were looking at, we were trying to see the behavior of the solution or the behavior of the fluid flow by looking at the equation that uh, that we uh, that come out of the solution. So we look at it just to recalling that this is the equation that we obtained, and as I said that this is a superposition of two flows then the flows are one is linear in nature and the other is parabolic so and this term occurs or is generated obviously because of the external pressure gradient that was applied to the our problem and if we try to see the conditions then it indicates that of course this i have made the remark there is a velocity u is equal to 0 at the bottom place and u is equal to v for the upper plate the condition that we already discussed in our first problem but then there is some more parabolic distribution and that depends on the applied pressure gradient delta p by delta x as i mentioned so if the pressure gradient is zero then you can see that this will reduce to our initial problem where the one plate was fixed the upper plate was moving but no external pressure was there and we will have the same result so even from this equation if the pressure gradient is zero the solution is reduced to only this result as was obtained earlier and that is how the logic prevails and the logic dictates that if there is no external pressure the solution must reduce to the same solution which we have obtained for these conditions so and then we try to see that its solution and it will be very nice again that if this kind of result can be verified experimentally now look describing at the superposition of two solution or two types of flows when which one was of course linear and the other was parabolic in nature as is described by the two terms that we obtained you can see this is linear as far as y is concerned and this was this this term is second degree equation quadratic equation and therefore geometrically it will be representing a parabolic flow now we come at the geometrical side and we see look at the fluid the linear part is shown here with the red dotted line this is the linear profile of the motion while the second component and the fluid flow that occurs that generates because of the pressure gradient dp by dx is of this form and you can see that it is parabolic in nature it shape as we move up when y is equal to 0 the value of velocity here is 0 it takes a maximum value in about half the distance between the two plates and then it slowly starts to reduce also when it goes to the top so it is not now linear in that sense and therefore two types of flow the combination of the linear as well as the parabolic flow that is taking place both of them are being shown here